Hey everybody, this is a video to show how I was able to replace a window on a window frame in my garage, my, my work commercial garage that's from the 1980s, but it has a unique um, window frame. It doesn't have screws. And one of the things that you'll find with these types of windows is that um, they are not easy to get out. I tried a few different things and the, main, the most important thing I'm showing you here is how not to uh, approach this. I'm using a putty knife, basically a painter's five and one tool. And I first did a, just a painter's tool and then here I am trying to do it with a screwdriver and a painter's tool from both sides because I really wasn't having success. And you need to pop this frame or this little trim piece off, but it just won't come. And I was really working at it, even used my hands and got smart even using a glove uh, around that glass. And it just refused to budge until I just manhandled it and pulled it off. But pretty much ruined this piece of trim in the process. Not entirely ruined it, but it didn't do it any favors. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to pop it off. And gosh, I get it off. But it doesn't look real good. The teeth on it, if you look at it up close, there are two rows of teeth on each side of that piece of trim. And also on the window frame that it attaches to. And those little teeth kind of grip on there. And my, the way I was approaching it really did it no favors. You can see I got a little crack there in the end of the piece. And uh, the little uh, edges that, that seal up against the glass got bent pretty nicely. And the little teeth, you see two rows of teeth on both sides. And they are what grab on to that window frame. So that's kind of the structure you're working with and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing but I was able to get it off as you can see by manhandling it but don't want you to do it this way this is not the way to do it I did a little more research and found that there is a better approach because these things don't come off easy and you need to have the the, the right tool because when you look here um, the way I did it the frame actually got kind of trash you see all those little those little grooves will no longer fit together so what you want to do is go on amazon and get yourself one of these tool sets something like this it's a trim removal tool uh for your uh basically for a car and inside you're going to find a tool like this one right here that i'm holding it, it's like a pry bar it's made of metal it uh can help you pry it open and gosh, this works so much better than what I was doing because you get some leverage to pull it up. And I apologize for the angle on this video because at this point because I'm getting it open and then my hand kind of gets in the way. But you can see you can get some leverage to lift it up and the teeth start unsnapping. You can I kind of hear them popping here. And yeah, it, it comes out so much easier and it doesn't do the damage to the window frame like I had done previously on that first piece that I took out. Um, but this piece finally does come off. I mean, I was working on this for a long time, just that personal piece, and this one just started coming right off. And my hand, like I say, kind of gets in the way here because I'm kind of pulling out the piece as I go. It's also, I'll say, a lot less dangerous this way because that little piece of glass from the 1980s was going to probably crack and shatter on my hand. Uh, with this tool, it's much safer. Your hand doesn't get close to it. Even with the glove, it's um, probably a dangerous thing to do. So I finally got the window out and the frame off. I got three edges off, and then I got myself a piece of Lexan from Home Depot, scored it with the scoring tool you can buy at Home Depot, and then popped it off. There's a little tag here on the end and wanted to get that off. I didn't make quite a clean break. I'm not a pro, I guess. So I got my Dremel Multi uh, uh, Max uh, oscillating tool and shaved it off as a little saw blade. Those things are so handy. If you don't have one, you should get one. And then put it back in the frame. And I left that bottom edge of the trim still in place so I could get it in there, but um, it, it doesn't just slide right in. You have to kind of use a tool to kind of pry it open and uh, put the edge in as you go. That's what I found was the easiest way to do it. As you can see me kind of doing here, using the tool to kind of slide the edge of the frame away from the, the plexiglass or the Lexan. And Lexan was a great choice because, gosh, it's so much safer. It's super clear and durable, unbreakable. And then when you're putting the frame back on, get yourself a, a buddy on the outside. I got my neighbor here at my uh, warehouse complex to stand outside and hold the window frame in place because if you just push it out, the window will just pop out. You're right. 
kind of coming across. And you can see how she's holding it in place while I kind of snap it back in place from the inside. The whole door is moving when I push, so you need somebody there to kind of hold it in place from the other side so you don't just jam it through and, and pop the whole window frame out. So that's about it. The only last step we had here was just to put some silicone around it and make sure it was sealed up. I wasn't too sure, uh, too worried about cosmetics or anything. I wanted to make it airtight. We had invested in some HVAC in this warehouse, and so having it airtight was important to me. And so here I am uh, putting some silicone caulk around it, and then I used a uh, nitrile glove just to kind of smooth out the edges and make sure the seal was intact. And that was about it. Hey, if this video helped you, I appreciate a like and a subscribe. It's the best way to thank me. Thanks, everybody.